Hello, my name is Monique Nolan, and I'm your host for this episode of Arventura TV. Today, our special guest is James Espinoza, President, CEO, and Co-Founder of the Veteran Mentor Project Incorporated, or VMPI. James is here to talk with us about how they facilitate the transition of military personnel back to civilian life. James, thank you. We're glad to have you. I'm honored that you asked me and honored to be here. Thank you. First, can you tell us a little bit about your organization and why you and Love founded VMPI and tell us who Love is? So yeah, so first and foremost, Love is my beautiful wife. Uh, we've been married for 26 years and uh, she's been with me through thick and thin. So one of the reasons we decided to start the nonprofit was, uh, unfortunately, I lost my older brother to uh, veteran death by suicide back in 2018. Um, so as, as my response to that, I recognized looking backwards in time, some of the things that he may have experienced and he went through during his own transition, because it happened about five years after he retired from the military, uh, several things that could have helped him potentially, and also being in law enforcement for uh, on my 18th year. And I'm also an army veteran. So is my wife. Um, we just recognize that there's this need in our communities uh, to support our veterans and not only veterans transitioning first responders as well uh, from service back to civilian life. And, and really the, the goal is to, uh, and the big picture is to save lives and the, the near term kind of smaller picture is to support on a smaller level with career transition services. Well, James, first of all, um, we're so on behalf of the Arventura TV, so sorry for, to hear about your loss. Um, but what a wonderful way to honor your brother and what you're doing. Um, can you tell us a little bit more detail about the specific service or services you provide to veterans? Like if I'm John or JQ Public, what can I expect when I reach out to you? Well, usually you're going to talk to me first. Uh, we're going to have a, a kind of an intake talk, an interview, so, so to speak. I do have an intake form that we use, but to simplify it, we have a, a five pillars or five tenets of mental wellness, uh, physical wellness, financial wellness, relationship wellness, and career wellness. So if you picture an umbrella just of career wellness, we're using those those five tenets uh, under that umbrella to coach and, and encourage veterans through that process. Now, what that may look like is if you're if your number one thing is mental wellness, uh, that you feel you've got to kind of transition and work on, we're going to look for a third party nonprofit that provides counseling or even retreats. And if you can't afford to get there, we will uh, pay, try to pay for that service for you to get there. Um, obviously, being on this third party, we need to work out trans transportation on the other end as well. Um, if finances are an issue, uh, we believe and support the Dave Ramsey principles of, of financial um, health. So we have some people that are lined up with that organization to refer out. And ultimately, in a perfect world, we would pay for a certain amount of consult services to, to help su support that. Um, jumping to physical wellness, obviously, that's kind of an easy one. It, it, we're going to encourage physical health in, in the manner that, that someone sees fit, whether that's going to the gym or hiking. You know, we're going to just coach them through the getting back into the routine of that. If you're looking at uh, relationship wellness or career wellness, relationship wellness will be similar. We're going to look for camp counseling services or retreats for an individual or or a family, so to speak. And then on the career side, which is really our big our big push is to is to advertise and support the career wellness aspect of it is career uh, resume writing, uh, job searching, finding those interests and hooking someone up with a mentor that may even be in in the respective field. So if they're looking into going to construction or looking into going into accounting, we have mentors in my network. Our network is big enough that I can put a word out and say, hey, any, anybody in this field that can talk to a veteran. And that's what we're working on is really just growing that network. And you'd be amazed. I'm amazed at the number of people who are just willing to give their time. And there are other nonprofits out there. This is not a competition. This is something that we're looking at saying, what's out there for us to use and what's out there for us to refer out to that is reliable. So we, we vet most of our resources and we also communicate directly with those nonprofits as well. Uh, if they're government organi organizations, obviously there's a little more we need a little more that we need to understand because there's, there's those privacy issues as well. But with the nonprofits, I find that there's less red tape 
and we can get that dialogue going a lot easier. So I, I, that's pretty much what it would look like. And James, it sounds like it's really a holistic approach, but it's driven by the individual. So what the individual needs. So if they're in these five um, tenets, if you will, or the five pillars, if they're okay in four other pillars and you'll focus on one, but it sounds like it's driven by the individual, correct? Absolutely. Yeah. We would never come in and say, you have to, you must, you need to. It, it's really, what do you want? What is it your, what is your end goal? And James, how, how do you find the mentors and how do you get referrals from mentees? So believe it or not, we have about 30 mentors that are ready and willing on my list. If I needed a phone call to say, Hey, could you talk to this young man or young woman? Um, the mentees that we've received have been online through LinkedIn or by word of mouth, uh, such as the, the meetings, just like this. You you would maybe come across a veteran and say, hey, I know James Espinoza, and give him my, you'd get me in contact with them. And mm -hmm. the word of mouth seems to be a very popular method to do it. We do have a website. So if someone's interested, it is www.thevmpi.org. So that's Veteran Mentor Project Incorporated www.thevmpi.org. And you can contact me directly through the webpage. The, the, the email address goes to me. Um, uh, other than that, we're growing and we're building. So a lot of it, I, I would say the top two ways right now are through social media and, and uh, word of mouth referrals. Is there anything else that your organization needs that the community can help with that we're putting the word out there today? You said first and foremost, the, the volunteerism is always great. The interest, um, I, I, it feels difficult to ask, but really we need funding. We're, we're looking for donors who are like-minded that want to support veterans and first responders and funding is important for us. We're an all volunteer organization. Largely, um, I started the organization with my own funds, with my own money, and last year with the help of various people in our organization. We did have some promos online. We had a couple fundraisers. I made t-shirts that were uh, that we took out to several events to make up some of those funds, but largely that's a, a marketing tool, right? The t-shirts, the events, those are all marketing tools, but what we need is funding so that we can pay for veterans to get to retreats so that we can buy it. One of the things we also do is we we purchased five suits for veterans last year. I was I, I bought one myself too to see what the what the suits were like. Excellent organization called Salute to Suits. They are focused on veterans. They have great suit packages. Um, funding for resume services. Believe it or not, there are professional resume writers out there. And sometimes we get in the case as volunteers, we don't have the time and we still need to be resourceful for them. Mm -hmm. So really those those funds understanding that we are an all volunteer organization at this time. Um, that would be helpful. But if, if funding or money is not of interest or, or something that someone cannot do, we would absolutely take the support through the community, through sharing on social media, you know, maybe purchasing a t-shirt and just wearing it. You'd be amazed at the amount of discussion that can just come from walking around with a t-shirt on. I had a guy in Santa Barbara go, ah, I love veterans, team veteran. And you start talking to him. And their brother was a veteran. Their dad was a veteran. It's just so interesting how how easily a T-shirt could be a talking point. So that type of community support would be huge for us just to get the word out. And in the bigger picture, the funding helps because, like I said, we all we are an all volunteer organization at this time, and to be able to have those resources to access for a veteran that truly can use the support. Uh, we, we'd be forever grateful for that. And James, remind our viewers how to contact you once again. I know you gave the website earlier. Uh, can you give it to us one more time? Yes. So our website is www.thevmpi, that's Victor Mike Paul India.org. And real easy to contact us through the page. So thank you. And if James, if there's one thing, one salient point you can make to impress upon our viewers, what would that one thing be? That's a that's a big ask. Let me think for a second here. One thing I do want to mention is that mindfulness is a huge aspect of staying healthy. 
And every Thursday beginning this week, we will be starting a mindfulness program for veterans and first responders. And, and you can contact me for that information as well. It's, it'll be a closed group. We need to have the safety of, of being in a closed group. Um, but the one salient point I would, I would want is to know is for you as a community, for our community of Ventura County to just truly understand that our veterans and first responders love this country. And they've given their time, their physical bodies, um, their families to service. Understand that they will be going through a transition when they decide to leave service and come back to the community. And they won't show that vulnerability. They will be strong. And under, if you can take some of your own kindness and your own ability to be vulnerable and just try to help and support our veterans through that process, um, it would pay dividends. Uh, you know, there's over 200,000 veterans that separate from service every year. I think the number is up closer to 250,000. Mm -hmm. And if you think of someone at 18 years old going in, they're coming out at anywhere between 22 and 26 years old. Uh, aside from the retirees that are going to be in their late 30s, early 40s, it's a huge number of people that are, are, are going through transition. And I know that I've been grateful for the mentors that I've had in my life, and it's time for me to pay it forward, and that's exactly what I'm doing. So uh, I truly thank you for the time that you've given our organization. And it doesn't have to be our organization that someone gives to or volunteers with, it's just finding an organization that touches you, touches your heart and, and, and calls you to serve, please listen to your heart and go out there and give some of your time or your money because nonprofits will ask for money too. <laughs> but, uh, you know, at the end of the day, our goal is to truly support veterans and save lives. We're losing too many every day. You've probably seen the statistic of 22 veterans a day taking their lives. Uh, those statistics range between 18 and 22. I believe it includes some active military as well. That's not including first responder suicides that we're talking about. I truly believe supporting these veterans and supporting first responders does and will save lives. And that's why I do what we do. Thank you, James. Well, I just want to Thank you so much for giving of your time for us today. And that's all the time we have left for today's show. Again, I just wanna thank you, James. Um, please reach out to his organization if you're interested. My name is Monique Nolan, and until next time, thank you for watching Arventura TV. Thank you, Monique.